Well, that's certainly something. Link! You defeated the Wind Sorcerer Vardy! I... Huh? The temple's collapsing! Oh no! This palace is built on the power of Vardy's magical strength! With its master gone, it can no longer retain its form! We can't stay here any longer! We must escape to the Tower of Winds! Yeah, let's get out of here. Hmm? This was all was there to this wind soldier of Vati, eh? If all the four swords, you were at your wit's end. Useless cur! I do not steal enough power from the Hylians! My blood boils, heroes! It seethes at the sight of you! I thirst for destruction, for the pure release of rage, the power of wrath. For sword or no, my trident will reduce you to nothingness. I'm away, you worms. Oh boy, oh, no, that's Ganon for you. <laughs> yep, Ganon, the final boss, has, has already been spoiled. You know, it's sad, I hate that, I really do. What's going on? Why is the Tower of Winds beginning to collapse? Link, we must get out of here quickly! Alright, time for another escape sequence! We have to get... It's kind of cool, you actually see the original boss fight of where that frost thing was before. But we have to be close to Zelda. Zelda does also have her own hit points. I think she only has the same one as Malin does, so she only has one hit point. So, we have to make sure she stays alive at all times. Also, you need to stay next to her. If you don't, she will not move a bud. She will not move an inch. So bear that in mind. Let's get out of here. This is, there are still monsters about. If I did not call them, then who did? Oh no! Curse these monsters that keep hurting our princess! No! Not on my watch! We need to get make a bridge for Zelda. We need to grab that chest, I think. Huzzah! Not our force gems. Another force gems there too as well. Let's get ahead of Zelda and take these enemies down. Come on, you knights of darkness. Take you down once and for all. Gotta wait for Zelda to go first before we can go down. Alright, we gotta get over here. Uh let's see. Not enough room. Alright, come on. Link, go this way. Alright, we got some uh, rocks feathers. They weren't here earlier, but I guess, you know, fighters keepers. There we go. Get Zelda across. It's going to here. We got some force gems here. And a red defense bracelet. We already had one of these, so... Well, actually, no, we didn't, so... Actually, it's actually quite useful, actually, at this point. Oh, boy. No, I just fell down all the way down to the bottom. That was not what I was intended for. Zelda can't go anywhere. Yeah, I got this way. Go. Come on, Bradley. Bring us all together. Right, jump. Oh. And jump. And do it. There we go. Oh no! Princess Zelda! No, you will not lay a finger on her! You will not lay a finger on her! Not one! You leave your swords alone! Get out of here, you evil people of darkness! 
There we go. <coughs> oh, man, I'm out of water. What is the sense of dread that fills the air? I have no idea. While we, ling while we linger here, the tower is crumbling. About us, we must hurry. Yes, indeed. Oh, we got go. We have go. We have, we have gomas in the 2D section of no less. Luckily, in the 2D section here, they can't close their eyes, so this is much easier to take them down. Huzzah! Again, all those chests there contain is force gems, so by all accounts, the tower is collapsing. I sense a tremendous power approaching. Hmm, I wonder who that could be. Dang, it's not much further. It's another, it's a ball and chain enemy in the 2D sector. Well, that ain't gonna work well, is it? He's down. Ha ha ha. There's the exit. Come on, your highness. To the exit. There's a nearby. Hurry. Hey, what's going on? Oh, no. The ground's collapsing. No, no, no. Ow. Ugh. What's that? What, the raw patch of darkness deeper in the dark at the blackest night. Is, is this Vadi? No, it's not the wind sorcerer. No matter, I must use my power to seal it away. Can't breathe. My strength is failing me. The very air around me is growing thin. Dying. I only need a bit more power. More. Enough. The Princess of Hyrule and her power amounts to nothing. Zelda, I got it. Now see your way forever. Huh? No. No, the way we just got her freed. Ah. That's it. You're going down, Ganon. Didn't think you would be here, but my goodness, you're going to take that. Yeah, here we go. The King of Darkness himself. Ganon is back. And it's probably his biggest form ever. Ha <laughs> Weaklings and competent fools! You so-called heroes do not stand a chance to a nasty chance of harming me! Even if you weren't attacking a group, I will skew the lot of you on my mighty trident! So Ganon, the King of Darkness, at long last, final boss time! And when he uses his electricity, you want to avoid that! If he hits you with it, it will send you to the Dark World, which means you're going to have to fight some milks to actually escape, so... Bear that in mind. He's gonna teleport around a lot. Oh no, get out of the way. No! So when you get into the dark world, you're gonna have to defeat these enemies here. Stalfos and Star Lords. Get out of here, you. Ow! I don't know why, but this guy seems like he's a lot more difficult than he has a right to be. There you go, that is the biggest guy, the big guy himself now. Come on now, you die already. We're out of here. That will happen each time he puts you into the dark world, so try to avoid doing it at all times. But I say this Ganon is actually quite easy, in fact. I think it's probably one of the easiest Ganon fights in the entire series. No, it got me once! Come on, you. Take care of you. Booyah! Luckily, he doesn't gain any health by doing this, so bear that in mind. Get out of the way! Ooh, that was close. Good boy. Come on, baby. Now he's gonna do his second phase, and now he's gonna throw his trident around with a fire around him, which is annoying. But again, he can be quite easy to dodge. And at this point, you have so many Force Fairies, you're basically never, you're not losing this fight, regardless. 
Now to his next phase. Come on now, you. It's best to stay in formation. That way you can do multiple, multiple hits on him at once. You, why you keep there? We go. He's weakened. That's a free the princess. Ganon, this beast was once of the Gerudo, once human. He was called Ganondorf, the king of darkness, ancient demon reborn, the wielder of the trident. <clears throat> Yet now, while Ganon's power has waned, I will pour all my remaining strength into this ball of light. When it suffice with its power, I will release it and strike. At that time, use this! Fire the ball of light with the level 2 arrows. We combine our powers and maybe we'll still get away from the world. Link, you must hold back yet until my ball of light is ready. Do you think you shot me? You have no even a fool's chance of facing my power! Once I'm finished here, I should get rid of you, Princess Zelda, forever! So we need to protect Zelda from any attacks from Ganon now. Because if Zelda gets hit, that is, her power will basically reset. Sort of like a certain final boss in Spirit Tracks, if you know what I mean. But you can use the, his own power back against him, though. So bear that in mind. Come on, now. But let's see, again, Zelda's, heart, Zelda's uh, ball of light reset when he, she got hit, so... I'm on you. It's a winning game at this point. I'm on. There it is. It's strength enough. Booyah! That's game, folks. That is game right there. The Maidens are back, and now they're going to seal this thing into the Force Sword and keep this Ganon away forever. Now, hold the Force Sword over your head! Yeah! Gah! Wha what have you done? I am the King of Darkness! I cannot be destroyed by the insects like you know! You can't escape now, Ganon. It's time to go into the Four Sword where you belong now. Seal the way forever and ever, because this is the last time we're going to see the Four Sword. Man, Demise's curse is getting worse every time. Link, we whom you protected and all of Hyrule as well. We will struggle together and grow stronger than before. We will work as one, as the four of you have done. We will work together. Now, the fourth sword. Place the sword that sealed the darkness on the pestle. No worries there. Save complete. What a journey this is, folks. Ah, that's game. Game's over. Game over, Ganon. Let's put the sword back together. And by doing so, complete this as one. Now, if you're playing in multiplayer, whoever had basically the most levels beaten as the Hero of Light would be the true Link that would show up here in the in its color. So, but since I was playing by myself, green that comes out on top. Yeah, put that reflective 3D model there. Keep that 2D sprite sealed away. Dun, 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 dun. The maidens are now going to go back to their to their respective realms, and peace is restored at long last, folks. Well, 
Well, Princess, that was an adventure, I'll say the least. A really good game at least, man. Let's go. Let's go home, Princess. We have more enemies to take down. The, the robbers, the everything, everything else in general. What I truly like about the ending of the manga, though, is that the, the Link, putting the four sword away, learns how to work as a team after this. So he learns how to be a teammate. But that's it! That is the Four Swords Adventures, folks. In and done and dusted. What a, what a truly unique uh, Zelda game to boot. The first ever, well, technically the second ever multiplayer Zelda game, officially. Well, I guess, you know, one, two, well, technically the third game. I'll say the third game. Is it the great thing of trying this on a home console? I think... Well, this game is great. I love the art style. I love the story. Well, for the most part, anyway. Because it's actually, you know, bringing 2D Zelda back to the GameCube. But... It is its, its initial premise. The multiplayer. The fact that you had to buy four GBAs and four uh, GameCube to... Uh, GameCube Link adapters just to play this game in multiplayer is certainly hurts it. It really does. And it's it, that's what it does. It's that that multiplayer just kills it, kills the game entirely. The game is perfectly fine as a single player experience, but playing a multiplayer, it's going to cost you, you know, well over a thousand dollars to play the game, and like that's wrong. You know, that's wrong in the same, on, on all fronts. Now, if this game was re-released to the Switch, which it had, you know, online functionality or wireless play, I think this game would succeed. And the only remnant of this is that they would try this again with, with Triforce Heroes in the 3DS, which, again, didn't do as well as one would hope as a multiplayer Zelda game. I think if they truly tried the 3D Zelda game, or the, the multiplayer Zelda game, I think they could pull it off now, now that we have wireless technology, online play. I think the Four Swords game, if this was re-released to the Switch, this would sell like nothing else. It really would. As for the setup of this game, it's set up like a Mario game. You have eight worlds, three levels within each, and you have to complete them. And you use all of Zelda's uh, conventions to do it in. Oh, Tingle, you're just in heaven, aren't you? Picking up all those Force Gems. Well, I guess he got rich in the end, but... Now, there is a multi the multiplayer battle, the shadow battle, which is just basically the multiplayer battle mode. Nothing more, nothing less. But there was also a third mode that was only exclusive to Japan, and that was Tetra's uh, puzzle puzzle course or something like that, where it was sort of played exclusively on the, on the GBA with the map on the main screen on the GameCube. It was only meant for Japanese audiences because they had Tetra doing voice acting. But since they couldn't synthesize the voice acting for English localization, they cut out the mode in general. So, and to me it was just you just searching around looking for numbers that were held by the by Tetra's crew. So, it wasn't much of a mode to begin with. And there's the ghosts of the four. Of the four, they live on in spirit form. And I do like this credit scene, though. The credit scene is really good. Now, while the game is good, I like the gameplay, but I think that it's hindered by, again, its multiplayer aspect. But I think this is a pretty good Zelda... I think it's a pretty good setup for a Zelda game. It's bite-sized pieces, and it works. It has a conveys a story to tell, and it works out just fine. Now, I would say this, if you want more of a better experience, I would read the manga. And it has been in its currently in reprint in legendary mode, so if you want the English version of the Four Swords manga, this is the time to get it. I have it, and I have read it from cover to cover, and it is such a good story. And I wish it was the same in this game, but it's not. But at the same time, I it's this game is path. It's great. This game is good. I like the game. I like the story to a certain degree. And I like the setup for it. I just wish it wasn't hindered by, you know, buying, you know, other gaming consoles just to play one multiplayer round of this. And there's Shadow Link, which just, you know, it just looks like Wind Waker Link just took all of his color out. 
But if Shadow Link is the main, I would think that, I think Shadow Link should have been the main antagonist, along with Vadi. They shouldn't have added Ganon into the mix. Oh, I do like this. That since the evil is gone, the frozen Hyrule now looks like normal Hyrule in the day, in the summer. So it looks, I like the aesthetic to it. It looks cool. But, I say, if you want to give this game a shot, it's going to be hard to find, but... This game is fun. I would give you guys to enjoy it. Play this game for yourself, man. This is... This is still a great game overall. I like the sprite work. The sprite work is great. The art style is great. And it really shows that you can have a 2D Zelda game on the GameCube. Or on a main console, even after 3D generation hit. I just think that the multiplayer could be handled better. If the multiplayer was handled with an online functionality or something. You know, or a LAN party with multiple switches now. I say this game would rock it. It would sell like nothing else. I just wish, you know, the... I wish if they did remake the, the Four Swords Saga trilogy... I think, they, again, they would have to remake, um, you know, Minish Cap, then the Four Swords game, the Anniversary Collection, and the Four Swords Adventures to make it, to round out out. I would say it'd be cool. I would love that. But that is it for me, though, folks, for the ending of this game. That is the playthrough of The Legend of Zelda, The Four Swords Adventures. Thank you all for watching. As for the YouTube exit, thank you all for being there, and... And until next time, everyone, I will see you guys around for the next playthrough of The Legend of Zelda. will come around pretty soon. What will that game will be? Well, you'll have to find out. Maybe the wind will most likely tell you what it is after. But until then, I will see you guys around for another Legend of Zelda playthrough. <laughs>